What is going on in my world? What is the universe? What am I? I'm a little tiny ant in this big universe, and this is all just... Who would've thought? Not me. Crazy. <laughs> So it's kind of like the ice cream argument. You can find one ice cream better than the other. You can not like sherbet. You can like sherbet. You can love adding toppings to your ice cream, like hot fudge, cherries, whatever you want. You can add it all. You can have it all if you want to. That's what it needed to be. And that's what it was gone big. <laughs> Whenever you're trying to understand your sexuality, it can be really confusing, especially with all the labels that we have now in our dictionary. It's really one of those things that you start and then you start spiraling and you're like, wait a minute, why are there so many labels? Why are we like the lady in the office who labels everything? I get confused a lot myself, so I thought it would be nice to sit down today and really talk about the differences between bisexuals and pansexuals and how to really know what you are, because I know it's really confusing confusing sometimes and you're scrolling through the internet and everyone's telling you different things and you just don't know what's going on. I've been there, done that, still confused, don't know what's going on half the time because you may feel one way and not feel like you're included and then you watch someone else and then you realize that person gets me and that's what makes it amazing but also really confusing at times. And what I say may not be what someone else says. So please don't hate on me, don't hate on anyone else that has a different version of what I'm saying. Just to start off, I really wanted to say the definition of bisexual. It's what I found on the internet. And I, oh. So that's what I'm gonna say. There's really two different variations of what bisexual may mean to some people. For one group of people, bisexual may mean an attraction, whether that's romantic or physical, to people of your same gender and the opposite gender. And that's really, you have those two different attractions and that's what you're attracted to. You're not attracted to anyone else, just you and the opposite. And then there's people that are bisexual that say they're attracted to people of their same gender identity. And then they're also attracted to people of other gender identities, but it doesn't include all of them. So you may be attracted to this person and this person, but you do exclude one group of people. And there's nothing wrong with that, it just means you're not attracted to that group of people. And it's similar to, like I always say, liking ice cream. I like chocolate and vanilla, but I don't like mint. It doesn't make me a bad person, it just means mint isn't what I like. So if you're bisexual, you may find yourself attracted to women and non-binary people, but not men. Men are trash. Maybe Maybe you're attracted to men and women and not non-binary people. Bisexuals can be attracted to multiple genders in some varying degrees of more or less, but they're not attracted to all people. They may find certain genders attractive and others not. But for pansexual people, it's really that attraction, whether it's physical, emotional, romantic, to people not based on their gender, not based on any limiting factors of gender or sex. So in reality, pansexual people can be attracted to anyone. Pansexuals are like, you know, I like you. I like you for you. Not based on your gender, not based on what you look like. I feel like I have a good connection with you, so I like you. That's like the definition of like how the world should be, in my opinion. You like someone because they're a good person and you feel comfortable with them. You don't have those same boundaries that straight people have or gay people have, where they look at someone and they say, well, I'm not attracted to men, so I don't like you. The one thing people get confused at is this doesn't mean that you're attracted to all people. You don't want walk into a room and immediately feel this attraction to every single person in that room. You don't walk in and start going crazy because you see someone that you like and then you see someone else and see someone else and then you're like this whole room is full of really attractive people and I'm attracted to them all. That's not how it works. It doesn't mean that you're just finding every single person attractive. There is preference. But if you are pansexual, there's a higher likelihood that you may walk into a room and find multiple people attractive and not just look at the women or the men or the non-binary people, you're gonna look at everyone and you may find yourself being attracted to multiple people in that room. But like I said, it's not all of them because that would be a lot of people and that would be very confusing. <laughs> to like everyone in that room. That would be very hard because then you have to narrow it down, your selection, you gotta figure a 
That's not how it works. You're not just focusing on one group of people. Because a bisexual person might walk into that room and only find the men and women attractive, or the men and non-binary people attractive. They don't have the ability to find all the people attractive. It's often that pansexuals find attraction based more on that emotional connection, and it's less based on the gender of the person. Bisexuals and pansexuals are pretty similar. Bisexual means attracted to multiple genders, and pansexual means the ability to be attracted to all genders. And this is different because multiple does not equal all. You can walk into a room and find multiple genders attractive, but you won't find them all attractive. But if you're pansexual, you can find all of them attractive. Just because you may be bisexual or maybe pansexual, you can also have a preference of what you like. You can find one gender more attractive. You can fall for more people of one gender. You can spend more time with them. There's no boundaries on that. So it's kind of like the ice cream argument. You can find one ice cream better than the other. You can not like sherbet. You can like sherbet. You can love adding toppings to your ice cream, like hot fudge, cherries, whatever you want. You can add it all. What's going on? You can have it all if you want to. That's what it needed to be. And that's what it was gone big. But you can also have a preference of what you like more. And sometimes your romantic feelings may not align with your physical feelings at all. But that's a completely different video that I can also talk about. And the thing is, is sexuality is so wide open. Sexuality can be really confusing. And it can honestly be a lot of WTF moments where you're sitting there confused like a deer in the headlights, not quite sure. What's going on? Why is everyone else walking around with labels that I don't understand and I don't know? But hopefully we can all learn a little bit from each other and leave some comments on what our definitions of pansexual or bisexual means for us and hopefully help each other out and really help ourselves to understand ourselves a little bit better. I'm always learning, I'm always growing, I'm always trying to figure out things and help people along their journey and help myself along my journey. There's days where I'm still not quite sure of myself and I enjoy looking up these things and really trying to understand what it all means. What is going on in my world? What is the universe? What am I? I'm a little tiny ant in this big universe and this is all just crazy. Ooh, who said that? Who said that? Who said that? But I try my best to really help others and really understand myself so please let me know in the comments section of any other video ideas that you would like to see and let me know if you're bisexual, pansexual, or where you are on the spectrum because we are all over the place on this channel. But I want to thank you guys for coming back every single week and watching my videos. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and join the Jelly Bean Squad. But as always, stay free my Jelly Beans. You're pansexual, so that means you're into pans, right? Daddy, chill. No. Wait a damn minute. Cause I'm restless and I'm dying to know more. Show me something, show me something I haven't seen before. Cause I'm tired of the same boats, the same show.